Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address. We are at property address 3083 Northwest Montara Loop here in Portland. We're located at the front of the home just off to the left of the front door. Underneath a steel plate, we have a 4 inch ABS clean out. There's the cap for it. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. Yeah, it transitions here at 27 feet over to 4 inch PVC pipe. Everything's looking good so far. This is a Schedule 3034 PVC. I think right here at 44 feet, this is the main lateral connection. Uh, I'm going to turn the water off so you have a little bit clearer picture. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on here. Now the uh, the line's all drained out and everything, a little bit clearer picture. You can see that the uh, the PVC pipe is transitioning here to a uh, a concrete opening. It's hard to tell is going on, what's going on right past this opening here. Uh, my camera has a terrible view of it. As soon as my camera goes into here, uh, there's standing water in the way. But you can see there's a, a large amount of debris that's building up right here at this junction. This looks like where the lines are coming together here to tie onto the main. You can see that this uh, junction here, there's a lot of debris sitting in it and a bunch of outlets. It's sitting right in front of those outlets, kind of damming up the pipes. Um, so this is in a situation here at this point where I would recommend getting that cleaned out. I don't know if that's a community thing. This is where a bunch of lines converge together. Um, the whole, this line leading out to this point, though, looks great. The line itself, the ABS and PVC portions, are all in good shape and functioning properly at this time. Uh, my concern here is once the line ends and ties onto this concrete uh, connection here where the other houses converge, um, there's debris buildup just in front of the camera, um, and then once I punch through this spot here, you can see that all the other lines that are tying in here are doing the same thing. They're get, you're getting tons of debris buildup right at the outlet, uh, which is damming up the, uh, the co this concrete uh, juncture here. Uh, so I would recommend contacting the HOA and showing them this video, because this line, that sec looks like it needs to get uh, pumped out or vacuumed out to get all that debris out of there, or jetted. Uh, but as far as the line itself goes, the line looks great. And I will go uh, try and locate this spot here just to give an idea of, of uh, which or what part of the uh, parking lot it's in. All right, I was actually able to just go look down through the manhole cover that's right here in the uh, courtyard. It's the one that's literally within the courtyard of these uh, homes here. There is another manhole that's uh, out in the street. Uh, this one is about... 12 to 15 feet from the road within this little parking um, courtyard here with where all the garages are. Um, it's right out in the middle. I was able to look down through that manhole and see my camera underground, so I know that that's the, uh, the spot there uh, where we're at. I was able to physically see it. Um, I would recommend getting this uh, vac or it's a big old vector truck that can come in and uh, actually vacuum this kind of stuff out or do a hydrojet. 
um, to blow the debris out. My concern is that you could get enough buildup here in this spot that, the, that some of the lines could back up. Um, all, pretty much all those outlets that I was able to see there um, have a huge wall of debris. Um, this one doesn't as much anymore because like, you can see where my camera punched a hole through it. Um, but it looks like this is happening consistently uh, throughout all the outlets that are tying in here. It looks like where all the homes converge together before going out to the street. Uh, but again, the line itself leading out to this junction looks great. Uh, but I would contact the HOA and make them uh, make this known to them that uh, this spot here looks like just the way it's designed is allowing debris to uh, build up at all the outlets. And it's likely because at the very end here there is some standing water. Uh, I don't know if, it's, uh, if some settling has occurred or just due to the debris damming up the pipe. Um, but it, it looks like there, that settling has occurred. You can see the standing water right here. So once everything gets out to the end, uh, it hits the standing water and just kind of comes to a slow stop there. And just doesn't make it all the way through properly. So Once you're past this line, I don't know where responsibility starts and ends here. It's kind of a little bit of a private um, sewer line, at least for that, that do converge together. It's a, a party line of sorts, but it's designed that way. <clears throat> so I don't know who's responsible that responsibility that would end up being as it's where all the, the lines come together. We've got good flow all the way to the uh, terminus there at 44 feet. ABS and PVC portions are in good shape. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time to the terminus, uh, but from that point out uh, does not appear to be functioning properly. So get the HOA on it and uh, I would recommend getting that cleaned out so there's no issues. And uh, if it's like, something that happens consistently, and it looks like it is because every outlet's having buildup at it, which is not a uh, generally a normal thing, it might you might have to put a, a schedule on this to, to do uh, cleaning every so often so that it doesn't lead to an issue if you let it go too long.